Hi again, everyone. I told you I'd be back soon, but I didn't expect to be back this soon. So after the disappointing Dollar Tree haul at that brand new Dollar Tree, oh, it still breaks my heart. I went to two of my regular Dollar Trees and I found new stuff, yay. I just can't tell you how disappointed I was in that new store. I was like, oh, this is a present. It's like a birthday present for me going to a brand new Dollar Tree and it's big. It'll have so much new stuff. It'll have that craft aisle that everybody's showing. No, no, oh, it's so, so sad. I really am sad. None of my stores are big enough to have that new craft aisle. Ugh. I really want that thing that makes holes. You know, that crafting tool. And, oh, there was another one. That X-Acto knife with all the blades in it. You know, I just, that stuff would just be invaluable to me as a crafter. I know I don't do a DIYs, but uh, I do a lot of other kind of crafting things. And, oh my God. Anyway, whatever. So, I have something really exciting to show you. They had just opened the box of these. I usually save the best thing for last, but I've got to show you. I've got to show you. Oh my gosh. They had just cracked open a box of sloth change purses. It was all sloths. I mean, nothing but the sloth. And this one says, oh, I'm showing my age. I can't even see what it says on there, but, oh, it says, hello. <laughs> He's saying, hello. Hello, so this was the first one. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. My daughter loves sloths. I'm gonna let her pick one. She's grown, but happy time. Look at these. Oh my God, oh my God, look at this one. Oh my gosh, a million sloths. I like sloths too. This one says, let's hang out. Oh my gosh, I know there were more. Oh well, maybe I'll find them in the process. They also had a box of brand new llama purses. So let me show you, llama slash alpaca. So here's one. Oh, so cute. These are not any that I have seen before. Look at that, it actually says alpaca on it with a rainbow. I'm not sure why they have the dark clouds, but okay. And then we have this one. Very cute. I'm doing this Dollar Tree haul in my car. Oh, sorry. I just dropped one. <laughs> Let me see if I can pick it up. And there goes my car. Oh, no. no. Come on. There it is. Oh, my Lord. And this one also says alpaca on it. So these are really cute. Now, in one store, because both stores had these, so they should probably have them in your stores. In one store, they were up by the register, like where the bags are. I hate when they put stuff there because I don't always remember to look there. But anyway, in one store they were there and another they were on, you know, the shelf with the, the fun stuff stuff. So, I'm very excited about these. Now, the other thing I found, and I only found this one, was the squishy toy. And I saw uh, Sandra of Sandra's Halls haul this. And look at the, look at this, it's a dog. Look at his face. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I'm not sure if he's going to go to school or stay home with me. But. And then someone, who did I see haul these? It might have been Theone, but I'm not sure. So, but um, these are parchment sheets, and I really like this because I do a lot of baking, so I just thought this would be a little bit easier. And it actually comes out to be about the same amount of money. And then a new bag. I'm always looking for the bags. Paw Patrol, Pup Pup, and Away. Isn't that cute? So cute. And then, oh, I have to tell you guys about this soap. Now, I picked up one of these bars of soap. This is the Oatmeal and Verbena soap. I don't know why it doesn't say lemon on it, but it's lemon. It says Sugar Soap Works. I love this soap. If you like the smell of lemon, I would highly recommend this soap. It is one of the softest soaps I have ever used. It is just delightful. I just use it as a bar in my bathroom. I always have a pump and a bar because sometimes I just prefer a bar, but I would really recommend this. So I picked up 
two more of these because even though all the Dollar Trees have them, you never know when they're going to stop carrying stuff. So I got two of those. Now this I found in the hair department. This is new. And I did not get these for hair. I got these for friend mail and for pocket letters. Let me take one off and show you. There's a butterfly. There's a flower. Butterflies and flowers is what they are. But look at this. You know, I don't like to get things that look too much like hair pieces to use on pocket letters. But I thought this is small enough that I thought these would just... And the design of them, I think they just look exactly like they will go on pocket letters. So, these were new. There were only two left. I decided not to be greedy, and I only took one. Um, and then I just got some of these. I feed my dog um, table food. Well, cook fresh food. Because he just, he was getting sick on the regular. I tried three different dog foods, and he was had constant diarrhea and I switched him to regular food he eats rice and chicken breast that I microwave and peas and a little bit of yogurt and a little bit of uh, ricotta cheese and he just does beautifully and he's an old dog so anyway I got these to keep like his peas in and other little things and I'm cooking every day or every other day for him I'm microwaving his chicken so I thought instead of using wax paper I will use one of these because the uh, the microwave gets pretty grody. Yeah, that's an old word. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, let's see what else I got. Um, oh, well, I'm not saving the best for the end. Sorry about the paper rattling. Holy cow. Look at this. Does this make you feel like Snow White or what? Oh, it's a ceramic apple. Oh my lord. I walked in, I saw this, and I said, Oh, I don't need that, but I'm gonna buy it. Now, I don't know if they had these last year. I've only really started serious dollar treeing since April, but they have these in three colors. So we have, oh, I'm, I'm gonna put these out after Halloween is done. Oh my god, look at the green. Holy free holy. Can you believe this? How beautiful these are beautiful they came in four colors they came in the red the green gold which I did not buy and they're all wrapped up in paper oh, look at this one iridescent white oh it looks blue but it's iridescent look at these so I'm gonna put these in a bowl on my table for Thanksgiving I just thought they were stunning so tell me in the comments down below if these are old, if these are a repeat. I'd like to know. But for me, I've never seen them before, and they are beautiful. All right, excuse the paper rattling. I don't usually do it, but I'm in the car trying to catch the last light. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? Oh, I hadn't seen this before. I thought it was super cute, and it's a decoration. You can see it's got the plastic there. I just thought it was really cute. <laughs> I could put it on. <laughs> it's cute there too. But I'm gonna just put it on my shelf with pumpkins. I'm gonna do decorating for Halloween. Maybe tomorrow. And then I picked up a bunch of these leaves because at school we do pretend raking in the classroom. It's so fun. So I fill up a basket with these and I have these two kids rakes and I spread them on the floor and the kids rake, 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 rake on the rug, not on the bare floor. That would be kind of annoying. And they just love it and they throw the leaves up. And you know, a lot of, I used to play in leaves when I was a kid, but a lot of parents don't want their kids to because of ticks or whatever, or being in the street playing. So I do this in the classroom and it's super, super fun. Speaking of the classroom, they had the little kids mittens so I picked up a bunch of these. So, so here's the thing. The kids that come to my school are not disadvantaged. They have gloves and mittens, but the parents just forget to send them a lot of times. And we're on the playground for 45 minutes when it's above 36 degrees. And it's really hard for me to hear my 
little students complain, my hands are cold, my hands are cold. So every winter I have a bag of mittens and the ones I had from last year just got really gross. Uh, so I got, they only had black and pink. Um, if you have a four, a three or four or five year old, don't buy them gloves. They cannot get the fingers in. It takes so long, it's so hard for them, even five year olds. And so I buy them the mittens, so I was just thrilled to see these. So I think I got about, I don't know, I think I got about 10 pairs. Because the other thing that happens is then, you know, one kid sees, oh, you have those mittens, can I wear some of those too? And even though they have their own mittens, they wanna wear those, so. Anyway, I got about 10 of those. Now these I had actually hauled, um, I think back in August my store had them and then I didn't see them again. So I hauled some more of these because at my easel in my classroom I like to put out the smelly markers and the kids always forget to put the tops on. They dry out super fast and the regular smelly markers that you buy in the store are, I think they're Mr. Sketch brand, they're like eight bucks. And so I said, you know what, for a dollar a pack, I got four packs. I don't have to worry if they're leaving the cap off. It's not going to be the end of the world. Um, I buy a lot of stuff for school at Dollar Tree. Yes, I do. And then I bought more of the little ponies because we have My Little Ponies for the kids to play with. And I thought these would be really cute to be the, the babies. And I put out the ones that uh, I had already. And the kids love them. I mean, they went nuts for them, which I knew they would. So I got a couple more just to help facilitate sharing, because sharing is hard when you're four and five, still. Okay, let's see what else I have to show you. Just a couple more things. I'm telling you, this was just such a better haul than that new store. And that new store didn't have the ponies, they didn't have the apples, they didn't have the sloths, they didn't have anything new. Um, let's see, is that it? I'm just closing my window because my neighbor just came home and I don't want him to think I'm crazy sitting in the car. Mm, I thought I had more of the sloth things. Well, if I find them at some point, I will show you. Oh, I know. I found this Spider-Man bag. He is my super favorite superhero. So here's the new Spider-Man bag. And when I can, I have them put my stuff in it. So this is full of stuff. All right, my friends. It's good to be back. If I tell you. Those two weeks getting my classroom ready were brutal. It's just, you know, from morning till night and then we start school and then every day, the first couple weeks of school, I get home and I just like, <laughs> so anyway, glad to be back and hopefully I'll have another haul for you soon. And I got my first piece of friend mail, yay! It's from Bon Bon of Bon Bon's Haul, so I'll share that with you next time. Thank you. It's good to be back. See you soon.